Hey YouTubers, today is uh, July and I want to show you guys something. So we did our vegetable garden and uh, the vegetable garden right now is super packed. I'm going to take you over there right now so that uh, you could see what our garden uh, looks like. I know you see this uh, empty space here, but there's really like green beans. I ended up buying a packet of green beans and out of the packet, maybe four or five of them came up. So I ended up having to go back to the store and pick up some more green bean seeds. So that's, this is all here gonna be filled in with uh, bush beans. So you can see here that our garden that we uh, did this year, it's pretty packed. So I had bought some some peas and some sugar snap peas that I really, really wanted to plant. And I thought, well, okay, so there's no room for it here. I'm gonna have to figure something out. And so we were contemplating and contemplating, should we buy a, a trellis and, you know, have to go buy a trellis and what have you and go to the store and look for the right size. So I figured, you know what? screw it I'll build my own freaking trellis so we had some leftover wood string uh, bits and pieces of you know trellis that we uh, we used actually for fence uh, actually a wall just so that we can allow some Sun to trickle in it's I'll take you there after I'm done with this but I just wanted to share with you hey you don't need to buy no fancy trellis look at this this is strong enough to hold my peas. It didn't cost me anything, just my time. <laughs> and I planted all the peas here. Um, I did two rows, and the two rows should be enough uh, to climb up here. So I ended up doing peas and sugar snaps. And uh, I blocked this as well, only because I didn't want the dogs to get to them. And there is fertilizer there and a lot of times they they know where the fertilizer is and that they want to get to it so this is also part to keep the dogs out so uh, I tied them up at the top just so that there's a little bit of a tension there to for the string and that board that's going across there just to, to keep the string tight and this is just basic string it's nothing fancy it's not fishing wire Although next year I'll, I'll do that because um, this is a temporary trellis. I'll take it down in the winter months and then come springtime we'll put it up again. And I think next year I'll use fishing wire, which uh, should be a lot stronger. Um, but you know, here's a good idea on how to use leftover stuff to uh, create a nice trellis. I hope uh, this helps you out uh, in creating your own and, uh, you know, finding ways to uh, frugally add to your garden. And um, you guys have a great day.